Okay, I'm at the uh, same house in Lakeland that I did back in March. Um, previously, these bees were in that uh, area right there. <clears throat> so now they've built two spots over, and this is an unrelated set of bees. Uh, the customer hadn't sealed this up yet and, and or put insulation up there, so the bees smelled this area and moved behind this cross beam right there. So I have to uh, cut out this section, extend those lines, and get to those bees right there that are unrelated to the uh, previous set I removed a, um, a month ago. So uh, should be pretty simple. <clears throat> the only thing I foresee is going to be a fairly new batch of bees, and the comb is going to be the soft, fragile kind that's hard to salvage. All right, the conspiracy has been exposed. There's nine over here. However, what I'm gonna do is spray Honey Bee Gone in these other areas where they are not, uh, just to av try to avoid them running, you know, and the queen running into other areas. And I'll probably spray some back here. So I'm going to corral them before I start uh, scooping bees out into my hive. Corral them with honey be gone. But I'm not going to get any on the bees themselves. i got to be real careful not to do that because that's just too harsh of a treatment for them to endure directly right now. Alright, here, here's some of the comb I've cut out. And it's easier to uh, salvage than stuff that's only been there a week. So that's a, a bit of it that I've already rubber banded into a deep frame. And uh, here's what's left. And I'm cutting these out right now at this point without a vacuum cleaner. I just uh, don't feel the need for that right now at this point. Um, I haven't seen the queen yet, but that's just a matter of time. I'm going to find her. I'm not worried about that. It's always just a process of elimination. And that's bees, uh, you know, coming back from foraging that are kind of confused as to what's going on with their entrance. And uh, it's possible the queen could have run over there too, but um, I'll figure it out. I'll look here real soon just to you know, give a cursory look over there to see if the queen has run over there, but I doubt it. I'm sure she's probably still in here right now. So I'm going to continue cutting out. And uh, I'm opting right now for a five frame deep nuke. And uh, I think that'll be comfortable for them right now. If not, then uh, I'll put them in a uh, 10 frame later. Why, look what we have here in a fern bush. There's the hive and the uh, cutout area up there. There she is in a fern. So I'm going to have to put down my phone because we know how many disasters I've had in the past from trying to catch the queen or whatever, from holding the phone and trying to entertain everybody. So nonetheless, there she is, and I'm going to... About to catch her and put her in the hive. There we go, how's that? Got her. See, it's always good, folks, when you do a cutout uh, and you can't find the queen, to look around the general area and see if bees are clustered in an area. I'm always on the lookout for that because the queen will fly uh, oftentimes, you know, when you cut out all the comb and there's kind of like a chaotic situation left over. So, sure enough, she flew over here to this fern a few feet away. And um, I was actually looking for it. I was looking for a cluster of bees other places than their original location. So, um, it paid off today.
here's what's left in the uh, area where the bees and the comb were. There's a few stragglers right here confused, but uh, I'll smoke and honey be gone them out of there. There's nothing in here. And, uh, this is where their entrance was, right there in that corner. And uh, nothing there. That's where uh, a month ago I cut uh, a hive out. All right, so uh, I'm gonna put the queen in the hive and uh, I'm gonna go eat lunch and be back uh, at dark uh, one of these next few nights. All right, so um, like I said, I found the queen in that fern right there and I put her on a clip and lowered her in with a frame uh, right toward the middle and front of the entrance just to uh, give her pheromone more effectiveness and calling the other ones to this hive. As you can see, I'm starting to use these bigger entrance wheels and bigger holes uh, so I can um, have the bees orient better to the hive even with a roof on. So uh, I sprayed honeybee gone up in those areas so you can see the bees are flying around trying to orient up there. Uh, of course, that's their old home, but they do not want to land so they're going to have no choice but to go to my hive. And, um, of course, it's chaos right now, all these bees flying around, but that's, uh, that's okay. That's part of the ballet. Everything's perfectly under control. And see all these bees flying around me? Guess what? I got uh, Swarm Commander in my pocket. And that's what... The label's worn off, but that's Scott Derrick's uh, Swarm Commander. He also makes Honey Bee Gone. So, that's why you see all these bees flying around me like this. They think I'm the queen, I guess. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here and let these bees leave me alone. And um, I will go eat lunch and... Be back to pick them up later when it gets dark. All right, I'm here in evening time, um, you know, about an hour before dark to pick them up. And I'm gonna look in the um, cutout area and make sure there's no bees hanging out. And uh, if there are bees hanging out up there, I'm gonna smoke them out and honey be gone them. And then as nightfall comes, I'll uh, coax these girls in that are hanging out on the entrance. I'll coax them in um, the hive with smoke and be on my way. We have the bees settling in for the night. Here's the space I just removed them from on this removal. There's a little bit of remnant of comb. Nothing in there. Nothing over here. And um, as you can see, there's some wet spots where I spray sprayed honey be gone. And uh, that's keeping the situation under control this evening. So uh, they'll all orient to my hive. So uh, soon I'll be uh, closing this wheel and loading them in my van and going home. And here we are the next morning. Thanks for watching.